Hello? Oh, hi, darling. Half a world away, another day. So let's go play on the moon. Welcome back to another episode of On the Other Line. I'm your host, Kelly Keegs. I'm here with Gia and Madeline, and we are having a lovely day, question mark? What do we think about our day so far? Uh, uh, I'm up in the air. <laughs> I'm up pretty, in the air personally. Yeah, my day it's just pretty began. average for me, pretty honestly. Pretty average, yeah. okay. We I'm, love it. I'm having my poppy. I'm getting through it. Okay, good. <laughs> you, got that, you got that poppy on lock? That's all you really need. That's Can I say I that, and I don't know if you guys uh, agree with me, Poppy is, is like sparkling water, right? Flavored sparkling water? It's or what prebiotic is it? soda, it's prebi- actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you. yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. I have... Um, it's a bit more carbonated. Yes. Like, it's, yeah. it's more like pop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, oh, okay. I like that. I would say that something that has become a staple in my life, and I don't know when this happened, and I don't know if it's if I was influenced by the internet, if I was influenced by like my own, you know, stomach hurting all the time. <laughs> I have a uh, sparkling water of some kind, flavored whatever, on tap at all times. Mm. Like I mm-hmm. need a Lacroix, and I need ginger ale in my fridge all the time, and it saves my life. Like sparkling water, especially when I'm hungover, saves my fucking life. I don't know what that's about. I don't like sparkling water. I don't no, like sparkling water not either. A fan. I can't do LaCroix. Even the flavors? No. I don't like I don't I don't really like club soda. Like none yeah, of that. Which is club soda is kind of gross. I love poppy. Yeah, I know, but I think funny. poppy has that like pop better, soda f- better flavor, yeah, better carbonation flavor, flavor yeah, sure. rather than it's not trying to be water. True. I can't do flavored water like Propel. Not that like people drink Propel anymore, but like I can't yeah, do Propel. Yeah, yeah. LaCroix. Oh, I loved Propel. I was yeah. obsessed with Propel. I just don't like. I like water to be water and then like pop to be pop. Like I yeah, can't do yeah, like this yeah. weird in between moment. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. People are. It's it's a an issue that divides us as a as a as world, a as a nation, as a country, as a society. Is sparkling water good or not? And I'm here to tell you personally, I think that it is. But a lot of people hate it, especially LaCroix. I will say this about LaCroix that I, when I first started having it all the time, um, I was worried that it tasted like chapstick. Mm. And I was like, what is this tasting like chapstick yeah. that I'm now addicted to? And so uh, other flavors don't taste like chapstick. But I, I, it just has that, that like, it's like if it's like strawberry flavor, it's like someone just said strawberry next to you. And it's just mm. like, oh, yeah, I guess it can taste like strawberry. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Like, that was the infusion. The yeah. infusion was the suggestion. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course. We love that. We love a suggestive infusion. But anyway, good. I'm glad you have that. Sorry the day is mess so far. Average yeah. for you. Yeah, like, not bad. Just no, nothing too special. Nothing just to write, nothing home. To write yeah. home about. Nothing, yeah, nothing to write home I, about. I, I'm loving... Uh, do you have a new ring on your thumb? The green? Yes. I love that. Thank you. So much. You know I, I love green. I got it in <gasps> it's Boston. It's beautiful. Yeah, it has like... I've never like noticed resin. it. It's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. god. Did, do you, have you been wearing it? And I not noticed. I was wearing it on it's my so other beautiful. finger, but then I got this ring, so yeah. then I transferred over Gorgeous. this one to my thumb. Yes. I also think, by the way, that I'm copying those nails. I'm getting my nails done like tomorrow. Oh, I'm I love right nails right now. I'm really obsessed. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do yeah. the chrome, but I'm gonna get like a, a, a midnight blue like yeah. that. I've, yeah. I've. I. This is not the color that I wanted. I wanted like a chrome black, but the yeah, yeah. chrome like layering that she used turned it blue and we were both like that actually looks sick yeah i'll say that i cannot figure out the chrome situation i have gotten chrome a few times every time it's a different color than what i think it's gonna be exactly i know it's never right because they they have like all those i wanted to get black and it turned purple and it was amazing i loved it but it was not like yeah it's hard to and i get so like i don't know what it is about the nail salon but i'm just like just do it like i don't yeah, care same, you know same. what i mean so i've I'm never like, like sit there i'm already there yeah. for two fucking hours it feels every yeah. time it's like too much so she whips out like there. five different types of chrome overlay things yeah, and yeah. she's like do you want this one i'm like uh, no and then she's like do you want this one i'm like i don't want to say no again you right, know what i mean right, so right. i was just like yeah whatever and then it, she put it on and i actually ended up loving it thank god it's the mm-hmm. same vibe as like the hair salon like i yes. i will i which i'm getting my hair done on friday by the way for everybody who's concerned about my bangs so i've been talking about they're too long i tried to cut them a little bit myself and i was too afraid you don't like, want to risk do it yeah. no so i just didn't and i'm getting my hair done on friday but i only recently at my like old ass age at the moment like have finally gotten comfortable talking to the salon people and telling them like exactly what I want where I'm like this is what I want don't do this don't do that mm-hmm. like otherwise I would have been like do whatever you think looks great and then it Me. always ends up looking terrible yeah. like it's just it's a nightmare and I 
always knew that eventually I'd grow out of like not being able to talk to the hair salon lady or the nail lady or whatever. Nail lady I'm still working on, but mm. yeah. some people don't grow out of it. Like my my mom hates that. Like my mom can't have a conversation with the hair people because she just doesn't want to inconvenience them or doesn't want to like whatever. And I'm, I get it. I totally get it. And I have so many I'm friends just, like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm the exact same way. Yeah. When I got tough. my hair done recently, like I tried to like explain – and then I feel like sometimes they just like they just do whatever they want. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They I do. I was like, I want to go like their specialties, brown. You know? Yeah, and they you- all they all have the same, um, or not not the same, but like each person that does hair has like a specific way that they are best at doing it, and they just pretty much always yeah. do it that way. Wait, do you go like, to Thomas Taft too? No, I go oh. to uh, Butterfly Studio Salon, which oh, I do okay. love. I absolutely love it. I go see my girl Joanna for color and my girl Jennifer for cut. Yeah. But I like researched in advance. Yeah. Like, so Joanna does the kind of coloring I like, specializing in like red undertones and like balayage and whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. And uh, Jennifer cuts thinner hair and I like have thinner hair, or whatever. So that's the, that's my big, my big, um, Right. Uh, whatever it's called. Advertisement for Butterfly Studio Salon. But I do love them. They're great. They cut my mom's hair too. She looks great. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a roller coaster. It always is. It's always a roller coaster. But I'm probably stealing your nails. Um, and I think it's because, which we'll talk later. We'll talk about it at the end of the episode so we can talk and people can skip if they don't want spoilers. But it's making me feel like I belong in the night court because <laughs> I am almost done with the second book, The Court of Mist and oh, Fury. Oh, really? Yes, I'm. Oh, Gia. Like once I, now that I'm into this, no. I will finish it oh in my two God. weeks. Like I'll finish the whole series. In, yes, in week Kelly, and a half. I'm so excited. And to talk about it. I am loving it. Oh, so yeah. we'll wait to talk okay. about that at the end for those who don't want spoilers. But I have people in my DMs like up my ass wanting to talk about it, and I'm thrilled. It's, I didn't realize like such how a popular. Hot, yes, yes. And I'm so excited. So like anytime, uh, if you guys are really liking it, whatever, let me know, and maybe we'll do like like segmented full, times like, where we dive. can do it. I, yeah. yeah, when I'm when we're all finished because yeah. I think it would be so fun. Um, but yes, we'll talk about that later. First, we have to talk about, um, number one, Mercury's in, Mercury's in retrograde. We know that. Yes. So obvious. Only for like two weeks though, which is okay, great. It's like, God. I think it was like April mm, 21st or 2nd until like May 6th or whatever. So it's mm-hmm. like a, a quick jaunt. We just have to fucking get through it. Everybody's yep. having a hard time. I'm noticing like people, you know, I see, I follow that shit. Who knows if it's real or not. You but know, I, it is because it's I nice can, to blame it on. That's like the only like astrological thing that I yeah. feel like is so true because it's like, yes. I have these like weeks where it's like, what the fuck is happening? Happening. Right. It's like why mm-hmm. I need an excuse for this. And there are things that go wrong and like moods, mood shifts and like other people interacting with people. And it's like there's something in the air. There's something bizarre. Like you can feel when everybody's kind of all on the outs, like everybody's not feeling great. And that's happening right now. Like I think yeah. yesterday I scrolled through like seven different TikToks where it was like people that work here and friends in my real life are mm. all like crying on TikTok being like I fucking hate my life right now yeah. like I'm miserable whatever literally. meanwhile literally last week everybody was chilling having a great time two weeks ago whatever and so we're, we're in the thick of it but we're gonna get out into I'm the thick of yeah. it literally pretty much adds up yeah. to our life right now I know 100% it's crazy. so it's hard not everyone's to, breaking uh, up like it's crazy that was gonna be my next thing is because Mer- Mercury is in retrograde I'm noticing there's a lot of cosmic shifting going on mm, and uh, the number one is the amount of breakups that's happening right bro now. holy it's shit. crazy even like with my friends no Wait. straight up it's and oh. that sometimes happens like this is something that I've noticed over the years of my life like I especially because I've been single for so long and so mm. I see this cycle happen I'm not yeah, usually wrapped always, up in my own yeah. bullshit and it does always happen around like springtime because it's all like oh summer's coming spring's here like yeah. people come out of their fog of the winter and they think like okay like uh you know it's time I can yeah I gotta get out of my shell or whatever change of the seasons right so people mm-hmm. pe- people break up with people a lot and then there's also just everybody's getting dumped all over the place and it's like what the fuck it's but crazy. then it always ends up being like this this turn of the moment yeah. where like okay like I here I am new season new life we're fucking going and I am seeing like more than ever I can't I can't believe it I so know people must be like you're the only one I know about now I want to know who else is there's here. so many people you know what there's oh, somebody two that I of will my talk friends. about specific yeah 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 two of your friends yeah and, and, then, and then just like girl people I, online I'm TikTok like it's people crazy online. every other TikTok I What's see is like I love her wash your pillowcases pillow 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 yeah. love yep. her I was just gonna I'm say shocked by that I know you know what if she's listening to this I love you and you'll be okay no I'm obsessed with her what is her real name Kat no Kat okay yeah yeah I'm obsessed with her Kat Wellington I love her since like early early TikTok during COVID but I was praying, obsessed. Praying for you and, and, and Cheddar, their cat. Yes, praying for Cheddar as well. Praying for her. <laughs> we love her. Um, but so also, and this is something that like is controversial 
because I know that she's a polarizing person and she gets more hate than anyone I've ever seen get uh, hate Audrey online. Peters. No, no. Oh. That girl actually does get, sorry, that girl gets the most hate. <laughs> and she's also going through a breakup and, right now. Is she going through a breakup yeah, too? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I was about to bring up <gasps> Danielle, Danielle Bernstein. Bernstein. <laughs> <laughs> Who, by the way, all right, I have talked shit about before because, yes, she's a little annoying. Yes, she photoshops her photos. Yes, like, she's a social climber, like, whatever. I will say this, though, about Danielle Bernstein. She knows what the fuck she's doing when it comes to fashion. I love her fashion. I really do. I don't love all of the, like, stolen shit. I don't I know what that's just all about. I was say, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot she's of also had stuff. some fairly big misses in my she's book. had big misses but she's also had a lot of a lot of hits and mm. i so i can't deny that this is not me being like i'm jealous of her life i i acknowledge that she's done a lot with her life i will say this i don't care what kind of person you are going through a breakup like she's going through right now i wouldn't wish on anybody like no, it's, it's they tough. live she's together breakup, they live together the whole they, nyc influencer snark reddit was just waiting for them to get engaged no it's awful like i feel really bad are. it's yeah. so public it's so and she's already clearly very insecure as a person and like right. whatever so i'm feeling bad for her and uh yeah that's one of those things like when you go through and i act like you know i'm i'm such a weathered uh weathered person i've been through it all but like when you go through a breakup where you genuinely thought like, wow, I'm spending the rest of my life mm. with this person and then you go through that breakup, you feel like you're going to die every day. Like you can't even wake up. It's the fucking worst, especially if you're dramatic. Like I'm dramatic. That was my life. She's probably dramatic and that's her life. You <laughs> I know can what I mean? almost like, guarantee. <laughs> it's the worst. It's so yeah. scary. And I feel terrible that that's happening. And I also feel bad that she now has to share it with the world and people mm. are speculating and whatever. So I'm feeling bad for her. Um, Despite the fact she's not like the best person ever. I still feel bad. No. Right. I, I saw it and I was shocked. My friends and I were, we were like, all right, let's lay down our, our shit talking swords and feel bad for her because we've all been there and it fucking sucks. Yeah. 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 That, that is tough. Her and Audrey, Audrey, Aubrey, Audrey, Aubrey, Peters. Audrey, Peters. Audrey Peters. People hate her a lot, huh? What's, I, what's the hate with her? She's just annoying. No, I she annoys people the just shit hate her because she's rich. Annoying. She oh, annoys yeah, me probably and why. she like, she's also a big Photoshopper. Mm. Also my, I passed her on the street one time and she was on the phone and I'm not joking. It was like a Sunday morning at 9am and she was screaming into Ugh, her phone. And I was no. like, I know what type of person you are. No, I would have, and I she was like, been furious. no, I literally went to get Acme last night and I was like, no, 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 kill no, me. No, I was no, like, no. we're on West 10th right now. Chill out. You know, I can never go to Acme again because Acme was ruined like five or six years ago, maybe longer. Like mm. it just became like the spot for We've, influencers that, not, that are yeah, insufferable. It's o- I've, only people I know have been there are influencers and that is not a place that It's just would. an insufferable place to go. No. And I feel, I feel bad because it was cool at one time. Like it was a really cool spot. We used to go to like, um, Jeffrey's Grocery. Have you guys been there? Mm-hmm. I've heard of it. Really good. We would go there and then we went to uh, Acme and it was like, woo, cool. This was in like, I don't know, 2014, 2015, yeah. something mm-hmm. like that. And then it became Loserville USA. Oh, so it's literally sad. only influencers. Sad. It yeah. was cool. But now if she's there every night, forget it. <laughs> I'm out. I can't have the loud girl yelling at the phone at 9 a.m. D- DB's there all the time, D- too. DB goes there all the time. DB was there this I have weekend. A friend, I have a friend who uh, uh, who I like her podcast a lot, Lindsay Metzler. She has a podcast called We Met at Acme. Oh, and yeah. And it's like a whole thing. But but she is influencery. Like, she has influencery friends and whatever. But her life's a little different. She, mm. she like, goes out and has this life. But she, like, doesn't drink. And she's uh, engaged or married now. I forget. One or the other. And Doesn't she's she living like her relationship life. advice and stuff? Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. seen her. Yeah, she's cool. friends with her. She's cool. We've done a couple pot exchanges in the past, and she's cool. Um, but yeah, it's a tough spot. I would say that this, that all of these like breakups, all of this, like I don't know. I don't want to say that it was caused by Taylor Swift's the ripple effect, but. I genuinely she was the think first so. one. It was her first. Like we heard about her breakup, and then everybody else's breakup happened. Literally after, like it was just kind of, kind of crazy. And it all seems to be like everyone's following the Taylor and Joe suit, where the girls are glowing up quite quickly. Uh, yeah, they are. Which brings us to our next segment, Taylor Watch. <laughs> Taylor's out on the town with the girls. Yeah. That, happened, that happened in it's, since this we, past weekend. Yeah, yeah, okay, this okay, past okay. weekend. I'm losing track because something new happens every week. And she, can I say? is just she's living it she's living living it she's slaying as usual she continues to slay but i'll say this that i am noticing that these things keep happening on like tuesdays because we'll record it and then it happens tuesday night so i'm about to go creep around the west village i know she's (laughs) always around these parts during yes she has her concerts on weekends and so she like flies back to the city monday she must flies back monday Monday, goes out has a little off day and then tuesday she's like girls i'm back for a couple days like i'm back till thursday she's like you guys have to drink with me like yes let's go to so yeah let's go to donnie a glass of wine like it is so oh i could just feel what the text messages say yeah i know 
But so uh, last week she went out with the girl gang, got them all together. She went out with the Haim sisters, Gigi Hadid, Blake Lively. She had dinner the previous night with Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. And what's interesting about all this information is that <laughs> as soon as she's done having dinner with these friends, and there are other friends too who are like ancillary characters, they all unfollow Joe on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. And I got to know what he did, I man. Need I need to know the team. Because you know there's yeah. something. You know there's, there's something. There's no way that he... I know. There's no way that he didn't do something No bad. way. No. And his no eyes way. have been you looking can just puffy. Te- yeah, yeah, and him can leaving the house looking... The Someone get him an eye patch. Singing totally. the songs and shit. Like, uh-huh. she, but she did Cold As You. She was like, Cold no, As right. You. She's getting so intense yeah. with that. She, she did also, the loser oh, to love her. She did the loser sign to love her. Although yeah. I did see another video where she did she it to like did, reputation like, yeah. later. Oh. I think she's just, which... Which is Wait also a with Joe Alvin. <laughs> Wait, now that I think about it, yeah. she's sending us messages, y'all. She's yes. sending us messages, and we know that. But okay, the she was she's seen with all these people. She's having a great time. She's out in New York. Um, I would say that uh, based on the fact that she's out with the girls and she's living up her life, um, it just means that Speak Now is coming. <laughs> I really everything think so. means that speak now is coming. I, I the signs are all there, like that the signs three are here. and the lights and oh, yeah, the, the purple and the flashing lights. and like we when, saw all that. Yeah, she's saying like speak now title, yep. and then she was like, I've been thinking about this album a lot. Exactly, it's coming. Her uh, her surprise songs this weekend were um, the, the only the only dagger in the heart was you're not, you're not sorry. sorry. Yeah, and if you watch her sing that song, you yeah. know you know something's up. You're, I like it's be- just so much passion. You I know? like begin again, but like. I'm okay with my hair. I do that. too. I'm fine without it. Uh, cold as you. Um, yeah. was, there was one more. It's fine. Um, or yeah, I wrote more, them all there. I've been keeping track. Yeah, you've been keeping track. You are really on that grind. Yeah, you I, are. It's great. It's like my new obsession. I love it though. I it's literally, at I, I can't help myself. It was, so this weekend was Wonderland. You're not oh, sorry. I tell you, Wonderland. A place in yeah. this world. Today was a fairy tale. Got it. Begin again. Cold as you. Got it. I do love Wonderland. It wasn't on I my like top Wonderland. list. I like Wonderland. And yeah. I got lost in yeah. it. Um, but yeah, I'm, because I'm just so obsessed with the fact that she may play the songs that I want. Before, it's it's you know? it's getting that close. They haven't for you. happened yet. That's what I'm saying. It's close. What two weeks? Basically, yep. this weekend. Oh two God, weeks. Yeah. Oh my God. No. <laughs> I seriously, like I'm gonna throw up in my mouth. Like I, I keep watching believe. videos and like I literally like I can't it's believe gonna be I'm gonna see you. Are you gonna build a floor for Philly or no? No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 like no. the hundred section, but that's still good. Still good. Still yeah. Good. Oh my God. Oh, you could. I just in the next town over. I don't know what it is. I posted TikTok about this yesterday, but I just feel like. I feel so connected with her in this yeah. moment of my life. Like this is the most connected I've ever mm-hmm. felt with her. And mm-hmm. I just feel like at the concert, like, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like we're just going to see each other. And she's just gonna be like, I get you. She's going to be like, I understand what you're going through. <laughs> yeah. She's no, going to literally point that, her out. I said that in, in, when we were texting the other day and that is so true. And this is something that I always am explaining to people who don't quite understand like the, the fandom, the yes. whatever. I always say, I'm like, Taylor Swift, she's one year older than me specifically. So our lives have been going in tandem like my whole life. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. like or since since she started putting out music, like I was a teenager, she was a teenager, she put out this music. I was like, wow, I identify because I'm going through something like this in my life. Yeah. I can line up to this day. I can line up all of her albums with a major event happening in my life. Totally. And it's actually fucking crazy. Yeah. Like in my head yeah. where I'm like, this is nuts. Taylor Swift got me through this. Or yeah. Taylor Swift, these songs, this moment, this, that, whatever something always is correlating and it freaks me the fuck out but it's so real and it makes me like love her so much yeah. more it makes me just feel like she's like she's my sister like she's my you know I don't know yeah. it just I don't I don't have a sister so it's kind of like that's what it feels like feels like someone to get advice from someone to look up to and yep. yeah I'm like I'm I'm a little old to like need that but am I though like no, she's is, is anybody songs. like I mean you know adults look up to people like is that totally. crazy to look up to somebody that you respect and no, love and think that they've like done a great job of expressing yeah. themselves in the way that like you can then also express yourself I yeah. think it's like wonderful and beautiful but it is so interesting when you like feel more powerful when you're going through something too like yeah. at that moment right now I'm not really like going through anything life changing at the moment yeah. I'm just kind of floating around right now which makes me nervous by the way whenever I'm not going through some <laughs> oh, shit yeah, I'm like something's coming, coming. Yeah. Like, right. literally what's coming makes me sick to my stomach but <laughs> it's like I, I can never rest I can no, never I just feel, feel peace literally never and so um 
even when when midnights came out i don't even think i was like really going through uh, i was sort of going through like a tiff but not yeah, nothing i didn't really crazy. get midnights until now like now, now get i it. get yeah, it yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah like i don't get yeah. midnights midnights was kind of i think midnights kind of pushed me in a direction that i needed to go yeah it was more more than like i was going through something i was listening to some lyrics of like maroon and i was like hmm yeah literally <laughs> like, let me think get my shit together right now because yeah i'm acting foolish yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like what am i doing you know but um, it's such a it's such a good feeling when you can like someone can speak yeah. for you, yes. and it just really helps you yeah. get over it. Helps I you feel her. good. Yeah. I know I love her too. Like it helps you identify emotions that you didn't know you had. hundred yeah. percent. I just yeah. can't wait to freaking scream mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. heart out. I I die laughing. I'm still like obviously seeing videos every five minutes of the concerts, and I cry, like really cry laughing at all the people who are like screaming bloody murder yeah. to the point where you can't even hear what they're saying. They're like, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, so yeah, funny. Bah, 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 bah. And, and I'm like, that's going to be me. No, me too. Like, yeah. it's going to be, it's going to be like a guttural noise yeah, yeah, yeah. coming yeah. from my soul I know. when I see this woman. It's Ugh. like not going to be okay. No. I saw our girl Nikki Glazer got to go. She went mm. uh, solo one night and then with her mom front row on Sunday. It looked amazing. Her. She said it was worth every penny. Yeah, and I no. was like, I, I was jealous. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Very jealous, very jealous. I know. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it's it doesn't even feel real yet. Like no. it doesn't feel real that I'm going, and I know. that's happening so soon. I know it's I'm crazy. So of it's crazy, but uh, so we'll keep our eyes on Taylor. I think that um, who knows? She could be back in the if she's back in she New York is. this week again. Like I'll be like, what are we doing? Well, she keeps going to the recording studio, so yeah. that's another like major sign. Like you know, no, whatever. we gotta get like some paparazzi friends or something. We gotta, I know, we gotta make friends with those freaks. Yeah. I'll apply yeah, to yeah. back grid. I'll, yeah, I'll do check that up for you guys. on check up on back. Yeah, start looking at like the names of the people that took the photos. I'll just start working for background on the side. Yeah, that's I'll perfect. Start yeah, becoming that's, a pop- yeah, I'll become should. paparazzi. Yeah, thank that you. actually be great for us. Oh my god, yeah, thank you for that. That's good for the brand. Thanks for yeah. thanks for taking that sacrifice. Yeah, um, yeah <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. So we'll keep our eyes on Taylor. Taylor Watch has concluded for this yeah. episode. Um, moving now into a little bit more uh, of positivity, light. Okay. Many. Proposals and weddings hmm. to discuss. Um, the wedding, the wedding. Sophia Richie. Uh, I cannot get over oh, that. Oh, freaking my dear wedding. God! I don't know. Like, I, I, I was always liking Sophia Richie. I never really was like, oh, that's my girl. Like, she's just cool. I've never disliked her. Mm, I've never mm-hmm. like been obsessed. I've never with had her. an opinion. Yeah, I just thought she was great. I love Lionel, obviously, <laughs> and I'm, I love Nicole, obviously. Yeah, like, right. I love their whole like family dynamic. I think it's great. Nicole Richie may have put on Sophia. The, what what I say? Oh yeah, <laughs> Sophia Richie may have put on the most classy, beautiful, elegant, elegant stunning event mm. I've ever seen. It brings tears to my eyes thinking about it. Straight up, it's did you watch that her video? Veil. Oh yeah, the one her that she veil. posted of like no the veil, the veil, the is dewdrop like a dream. veil. The veil is a dream. Oh my god! Did you see the video she posted on TikTok most recently? That was like flashes of the yep. whole weekend. Yep. I literally cried as if it was my own wedding. As um, if it was my Joel friends. and Benji Madden singing S- Lifestyle singing, of the Rich no, no, and Famous. No, I, I have chills. two rich and famous people. I have chills. Yeah. Like it was too much, was and so people good. forget like there are so many. So many webs weaved within the like Richie family, mm. and uh, I, I watched that girl do yep. the uh, whiteboard about oh, yeah? it. It's oh yeah! Oh, I have crazy. to see that. That's yeah. I want to see that because I'm sure there are ones I don't even know. Oh yeah, but crazy. The ones that are that are like most relevant to this conversation. Uh, Benji's married to Nicole. Or yes. Joel. Benji's marriage to Nicole and Joel's, Joel's married, married to, to Cameron, Cameron Diaz, Diaz, which is hilarious. What? Yeah. And so that's crazy. But so obviously the Madden brothers were there. They performed Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Uh, Sophia walked down the aisle to that. I will never um, fall until in I love found you. Again until I. That song is the most beautiful song, and I remember thinking when I heard that song for the first time, I added it to my like Spotify immediately to cry about. For it's a on my Spotify days. highlights yeah. of like. Things I'm gonna cry to it like right as soon as we're done with this, and I feel like I need to squeeze out a couple tears. But I um heard that and it was playing, and at first she was like walking down, and I was like, oh, they must be like playing it as practice for her. And then I was like, God, it sounds so good. They have like a really good speaker system. Yeah. And then they pan over to the literal Steven's artist. The actual singing. <laughs> yeah. The Steven actual Sanchez. guy who said Dave Sanchez, who actually sings the fucking song. Steven Sanchez, right? Steven yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanchez. Who actually sings I the song, him. singing up the thing. And I'm like, this is, it's so amazing. It's so different. Like just sometimes um, I'm not mad about rich people. Like sometimes I'm like, I appreciate the fact that you guys are so rich because I now get to see that this happened. Like this rich is people with to, taste, like, which she yes, has. Yes, which she has. The oh, dresses, the, the fashion, her like the whole soft weekend. look, like everything about. I don't think that girl put on more than like a dot of blush either day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it was her wedding day, and yeah, she she's gorgeous. had the most flawless face and just 
you know, calm demeanor. I just yeah. had no idea that she was such a, a lovely, wonderful mm. person. Yeah. It seems like she's really in love and she converted for her husband, converted to Judaism, yeah. which I, you know, that's, I, I that's pray a to God, like, yeah. please, Jewish boy, come through. Literally. <laughs> we'll do it. Please. I am just dying, dying for it. So please come through. And um, it just seemed over, like, all in all, the most lovely day of all yeah. time. It, and it, that's it. Everybody else should give up. I couldn't, I wouldn't change. Honestly. Like, there's not Everything one about thing about Chanel, that wedding. Yeah. The so three dresses. Yes. The, oh. the fact that they spent the whole week there. Mm-hmm. Like, past they, the puss was there. Past the puss. Well, how was, was like, past the puss there? Okay. He works for the husband's company, the record company. And that I think so amazing. There, there are TikTok, so lucky. There are TikTok detectives that say he either grew up with Elliot's little sister, Alice, and their besties. Got it. Or, or their cousins. cousins interesting oh yeah. my god that's so either way what a connection he's like grown up with the grange family in I some see. regard I see. and then now works for elliot what a coincidence though because I, that no. was when i saw when i saw his uh his tiktok about it he is you know featuring sophia ritchie I was like, there's no way. I was like, it has to be They've, fake. The OG the the OGs OGs know. fans know that they have been, fr- him and Sophia, he used to, when he had oh. like 40,000 followers, yeah. 30,000 yes. followers, he used to post with Sophia all, all the, the time. time. And people Wait, would be like, what so the fuck? Is that crazy. Sophia Richie? Yeah. He was at her bridal those. shower. <gasps> yeah, they're He's like wow. in it. He's in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, holy fuck. He's also friends with Olivia Jade. No That's not surprising. Way. They both went to USC. USC. Oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And is Sammy he H. like a is he a nepo baby? Pass the post. I don't I think, think he's nepo, but I think he well he's, he's, just, born, he's he was rich. born in the city. I think he was just born. I think very he's just well, well connected. Okay, 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 good for him. Good for him. Um, no, Jealous. there is like yeah, every, pass that post. And yeah. then Lionel Richie sang their first dance song. No, stop. It's too emotional. Like everything about the whole <laughs> like, thing is just like so tearjerkers. How do you even? How do you even deal with it? And Everyone looked stunningly beautiful. It was shocking. Hearing, Paris Hilton looked great. Hearing her demeanor and hearing her talk makes me retroactively feel bad for her that she had to go through dating Scott Disick at such a young age. She's our age. Oh yeah. my god! It's crazy. She's twenty four. She's our. Can age. I tell you that I one hundred percent forgot about Scott Disick? Yeah. In my head, I was like, I know she dated somebody, and she dated but I Justin who. Bieber, and she dated. Justin I, th- Bieber. I thought it was Justin Bieber. I forgot Both. all the way about Scott Disick. That makes me <sighs> retroactively feel bad that she seemed so cute and nice, Oof. and then Scott Disick was probably not that nice to her. No, yeah. definitely. And she was not. like a stepmom to his kids at eighteen. Well, he probably cheap. I mean, ugh. here's the thing. I don't dislike Scott. I do think Scott he's hilarious. Is, unfortunately, he's so funny. And I think that he means well. I think he is a broken soul. And I think that he never was able to become the man that he wanted to be for the love of his life, Kourtney Kardashian. I think yeah. that, that he will never love anybody like, like he loves Kourtney. No. That's just a fact. And unfortunately, he was never enough for her. And he, now, you know, he never will be. That's it. Right. So you gotta. She's the one that got away. And I think that he's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. And I think that he took a long time trying to fill that void with children and uh, you know Sophia being one of them and I think Sophia is such a lovely person that she probably like just was like I, feel bad was like, I can fix him yeah exactly <laughs> totally like she's we all so, feel she's we all so say, oh, young I can fix him. Yeah. there's a 15 so year young. age gap like, although I will I will say I appreciated when um they all went on some like trip to somewhere with snow I don't know and Courtney was there and Sophia was there and they're all hanging out and Courtney and Sophia were so like sweet and cute and friends and whatever mm-hmm. and at that moment I was like Sophia and Scott are gonna break up soon I'm now remembering this whole thing Sophia yeah. and Scott are definitely gonna break up soon because Courtney I know probably sees that how wonderful this person is and how broken Scott is mm-hmm. and it's like you're a child get, get out, out of this like this yeah. is too messy be better or whatever and shortly after that they broke up and then she met Elliot and then that was you know and now we're literally now looking we're, at the wedding of the century now we're in the middle of a fairy tale this and the Naomi Biden wedding are my one and two. Oh yes because those were both Insane, Stunning. but Stunning. The, I think the Sophia, the just the just the outlandishness of the Sophia Richie wedding, yeah. Of like, I will never ever, not that I'll ever get married at the White House, but like, mm-hmm. just like the South of France, and yeah, all of it's just a, it's like, just oh. such a stunning. It was a beautiful venue. It's a beautiful place. The people are all beautiful and mm-hmm. famous Everyone's and rich, so beautiful. and it's just like that. I feel if you, I bet if you were at that wedding. It's one of those things, and I've described this before, where it's like you go and there's magic in the air, and that's how the wedding feels. Like I bet if you're at that wedding, you could like charge up on power. Like you mm. know what I mean? Like there's yes. just so much energy around that it's like you just you get infected by it, and I all bet. these people like who are have such star power, letting loose and having a good time, and like that genuine feeling of love. You can feel it through the videos. Like that's yeah. it feels 
less like a famous person's wedding and more like a massive family event that we were all lucky enough to like see him. Mm. Yeah. And it's crazy. Yeah, it's and I love whenever um whenever Vogue does a wedding, they do a really good job. Like as far as style and, and coverage and whatever. I love and yeah. dresses. Obviously she was heavily involved or Vogue was involved with like you know, uh, she got shooting like, it. The exclusive with Chanel. Like, uh, like just what do you have to like how lucky do you have to be it's to be like stunning. oh Chanel's gonna make three custom looks for me for my wedding it's beyond it's crazy it's really beyond I and I, I can't he, get I, I, like I, I it's just a dream she's the new it girl yeah after this yes like totally. what a also uh, question did she not have a tiktok before this all no started? she made it this she made it her pr this, right? team is absolutely the best thing going They're right crushing now it. because who's she, her pr team do we know i don't know but she made the tiktok like probably like a week ago today like yeah and was like okay welcome to my wedding weekend and just started making tiktoks and yep. her, like they nailed it. I, and I keep seeing i keep seeing a couple i i'm now on sophia richie tiktok but it's like i keep seeing Same. discourse about being like oh my god like you guys are just like getting fault. Like you guys are just falling for her PR team. If so, I don't care. Uh, well, they're doing a great. They're doing a great job. job. Like, what do you mean? They're right. doing the best job I've ever seen of of any PR team. Right. Like and whoever they are. Um, let's. They're like, why are we making her the it girl? I'm like, uh, because she's fucking killing it. Because she's That's unbelievable. Why. Are you looking at this? Also, I've seen a lot of people say that her PR team is taking everything from the Nicola Pelt Beckham wedding and being like flipping it on his head because Ooh. that went so poorly and that was supposed Nicola Nicola she, Nicola, Nicola, yeah. Nicola Pelt she, wanted was this to be, be the royal wedding of the century. She wanted her wedding to be what this was and yeah. so I think people are saying like her PR, what PR team with took, that. Why wasn't it? Nicola Pelt seems like a big Cuz everyone mini. hates her cuz yeah. apparently she's awful. True, everybody apparently says she's, she's bad, a huge yeah. bitch and, and they're suing the wedding planners. The wedding planners oh are God, suing them are? and then they're counter suing them. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that for what? Yeah, because there's like all these like basically I don't know the exact details, but it's something along the lines of like the wedding planners are were suing the family mm -hmm. for money mismanagement or something like that. Like they weren't paid and then they're counter suing them right. because like they were like the, it wasn't executed the way that they wanted to. Oh. And like, there's all you should read about it because it's interesting. Like, I will read about they it. Have like, the no documents, like, yeah. They have like the court documents, like show like their conversations and stuff. Yeah. And like how like awful and anal like Nicola Peltz was. So it's like it's very interesting. wow. That's so interesting to me. Also, yeah. that is such a typical uh, like rich people thing is like hire people for a service and then act like oh no it wasn't yeah. up to par so I'm not gonna pay you everything. Yeah. Like, that's right. such a like just pay these people their fucking money and move on. Like they're not gouging you. They're trying to make a living. You're a billionaire. And like Brooklyn it. Beckham is like a fucking piece of piece of bread he is so, <laughs> so like what are you doing like again nepo he babies kind of float around like la 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 and he's like yeah. i just love fashion and cooking i'm like yeah, yeah. and he really said like picture book. book yeah yeah i yeah. felt bad about that i was like so oh. stupid it's, right it's bad it's, and it's bad. like um sophia richie is an ultimate nepo baby too but like mm -hmm. she's doing nude sticks and like mm -hmm. she's at least doing something yeah she used um physician's formula bronzer yeah. <laughs> from yeah. Rite Aid, yeah. which i love she's, so like, she's just like me yeah, right. yeah. she's just like us yeah. like so the same Nepo no, babies people do can... seem to love her and i i will say that it's interesting how these different celebrities are seen by the public because you would think that nicola peltz would get the same treatment she's just as beautiful she's just as elegant seeming mm -hmm. just as you know from the grandiose it's the personality and, and people people pick up on it if you're mm -hmm. if you're a piece of shit or if you have a like a bad attitude people will always pick up on it and i think that that um that's something i notice all the time yeah, well, i always pick up on a bad mm -hmm. attitude yeah. i'm like mm. like it's 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 like a sharp feeling yeah. and I sometimes get that from her I always get sad vibes from her though I whenever I see Nicole Pelt's stuff I always am like yeah. you seem sad I think that's why her and Selena Gomez are best friends definitely definitely they're both probably just, just bitches like that bond. are sad mm -hmm. and rude <laughs> and like feel bad you know what though I I bet that um when you're rich and famous and like beautiful and you know all these things Selena Gomez is included on this I bet that like you probably need a friend that you can be woe is me about too because if you forever like yeah. I, I love being woe is me like if I'm in a woe is me mood I gotta be it I gotta yeah. do it mm -hmm. I gotta bitch I need to complain I don't want to hear the but 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 this yeah, is going no. on but this is happening yeah. but you're so great but you're rich you're beautiful whatever like I don't want to hear those things like I want you to be like yeah your life fucking sucks right now yeah. I feel bad for you <laughs> and I bet that they together I bet Nicola's like like you know my, yeah, totally. my wedding planner fucked up my wedding and now i look like a fucking bitch online and selena's like yeah and my ex-boyfriend's yeah. dating this new bitch and like they yeah. all hate me and like yeah. they probably just like 
have that relationship and and you know you gotta have that relationship yeah totally it doesn't make you any less of a bitch but you gotta have that relationship mm-hmm. damn i didn't know all that about about uh nicola and beckham i would say that i am interested more in like the beckham family because of victoria obviously i'm like obsessed with her although they seem very rigid now as people you know what i mean like, yeah they've become they're very scary off. i watched an interview the other day i think i saw it on tiktok it was uh Mm, oh oh god it was Sasha Sasha Cohen did, does like the Ali G used to do the Ali G mm. interviews where he was just like horribly offensive to whoever yeah. he was interviewing I'm not a really huge Sasha Baron Cohen fan I'm not really his yeah one like fan. I, I, I've I was seen never Borat, a Borat like girl. once <laughs> yeah yeah never really a Borat girl I didn't really like Bruno I do love him in Les Mis though Oh yes! Oh yeah! yeah. Please, please, yeah. please! He's fabulous. There. Yeah. That makes sense. When when there are people that are supposed to be comedians and it's like this kind of humor that's not really my jam, and then they later are being like a more serious, sympathetic character, I usually like them a lot more. Jack Black is a per- perfect mm. example. Oh, I, I always love say that Jack Black. I hate Jack Black across the really? board. Really? I think that he is so annoying, so obnoxious, tr- like over the top for no reason. I love him in The Holiday. <laughs> like I'm obsessed with him in the holiday. I think he's the most wonderful Wait, person in the world. I cannot believe you don't like no, Jack Black. No, he's not my cup of tea. He's the only one. Like I, I like all the other like comedy. Like I love. Uh, when he I wears liked the Chris Bowser Farley. Yeah. I like. Yeah, he's Bowser. Yeah. That, I, I mean, I laughed a little bit. Uh, like, not so Libre. I yeah. laughed at that. Wait, no, school of not rock? Libre. Yeah, he's so. You know what it is? It's, We're Jack I, Black I fans. Step <laughs> off. No, everyone loves Jack Black. I'm like very much in the minority. I know that, but I will say that he like. It's something about his whole, he's too, he makes me anxious. Like he's, he moves too much. He's always like making a mess. That's he's just so like funny. He's like a bull in a china and, shop. Yeah. And yeah. I, that energy does not fuck, does not ride with me. Like I just don't like it. I, I always I, feel like, um, Francesca's boyfriend, it gives me such Jack Black yeah, vibes. Yeah, he does. He, he does. And I always like, like, oh, Joe. Yeah. Like, he always <laughs> like giving me these fucking vibes. I say it. I said it to him, like, he'll go crazy, and I'm like, ugh. Yeah, and he's he like, is, oh, wow, well, loosen up. Yeah, I'm wait, like, no. He, he loves Jack Black, and he, he has that, like, you know how, like, Jack Black, like, does, like, the, like, he has, like, that, like, yes. this joke that kind It's of chaotic. Yes. It's That's chaotic funny. energy, and he's it's not. so funny. <laughs> that kind of chaotic energy, for some reason, does not land with me. Like, I just can't get it. But I, so I love him in the holiday. Obviously, yeah. he's wonderful. So I know he's, in real life, probably a wonderful person. It's the people that he plays that I'm not a huge fan of. I appreciate when he's in, like, um, you know, animated, voice and animated movie crushes it mm-hmm. he's like king built Julian, for that. right is he king Julian? no he's not king Julian. no no i don't he's know somebody from madagascar though isn't he or no no i'm sorry i'm thinking of kung fu panda yeah he's, yes he's, he's poe po. he's poe yeah uh, no. sorry so i so that's all fine yeah like cool cool whatever but Skadoosh. he's not my he's not my vibe <laughs> you guys no like see no like i am not even laughing like i'm laughing at you guys laughing <laughs> <laughs> but if I saw that I would roll my eyes like that's it is not my shit like I don't know I why <laughs> I love him and I love <laughs> <Pondu Fan. laughs> the wushu finger holds <laughs> you guys no no, I'm gonna go watch no. you're fired later. everyone's fired but me <laughs> if you like Jack Black you can't work here yes. forget it no everyone fucking loves him but he's not my vibe yeah. he's not my vibe but I like um like I like Chris Farley I, yeah. I you know I've always liked him maybe I, rest in peace I like uh, yeah rest in peace I always like um you know all the other comedy guys like I like Adam Sandler I like Jim Carrey I like like all the he people that are big yet. like character actors sometimes but just that's not my that's Damn. not my vibe it never <laughs> landed with me why did we talk about Jack Black um, I don't know how that's funny no. characters. Oh, yeah, funny characters that do like serious roles. roles or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, so I don't like him as Ali G. And I think that he's mm. he's like, I, I will, I won't lie. I laughed at this interview a little bit because he was interviewing um, Posh and Bex. He called them Posh and Bex the whole time. So it was like right when they got together. I don't even, oh, no, they were married and they had Brooklyn. And um, they were uncomfortable on the couch. They were like laying on each other in this weird way. David Beckham looked like such a moron. Like he (laughs) barely said a word. Like I have seen him speak so much more and he's a smart guy. Like he's a normal person, whatever. If I had judged him based on this one interview that I saw, I would have been like, that man has rocks for brains. Like (laughs) what? He says nothing. But Victoria was so sharp, so quick witted, so funny. Yeah. And I remembered. I was like, oh yeah, that's my fucking posh spice. Like that's why I love this bitch. That's why she's always been my fave. Besides Ginger, I love Ginger. And like I'm just very into it. 
present day Victoria Beckham is nothing like that mm. woman. She would see that video and probably be like, be like, oh my God, I can't believe I said those things. Like yeah. she is just doesn't have that calm vibe. Seems very like stone. She's very, very almond mom. Very cold. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cold. I bet she hears that. What would you, how would you feel if, um, if your reputation of people, on, you know, random podcasts you don't even know were calling you cold. Like, I, yeah, I, I, think I, I would be bother me so sad, much. but I think that's the kind of image that she wants to give off. I think so too. I think like she's maybe just, she's different in yeah. in the quiet of her own home, but I feel like she is very like she wants to give off that like um, like I'm better than you vibe. Yeah, like, just like I think that's the only the only answer, right? Yeah, I mean Similar she is posh to, uh, spice at the she's end of the posh day. Spice. You know? She's yeah. always been posh. Yeah. Um, it's funny because it's different in different than like Gwyneth Paltrow, who also gives off. Oh, I'm better than you vibes, yeah. almond mom, but not quite as cold. Like she's kind of warm feeling. I feel. Yeah, yeah. You agree or no? I wish you well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you well. She's Iconic. not. Yeah, she's not. She's as, amazing. She's not. That as was cold. awesome. I know. Uh, she just has an eating yeah, disorder. She, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she does. Like, she does likely. She, she does just likely like have an eating sh- disorder. shares information that nobody needs. Yeah, you know? that's like, yeah. It's a lot of she's oversharing. Like, it's yeah, a lot it's of like oversharing. listen, girl. If you, that need- works for you, that's great. But you're in the <laughs> minority of minority when yeah, it comes to eating crazy. bone broth and yeah, having yeah, yeah. one piece of and like toast and pooping your pants for two weeks. I, saw I won't like, lie to you guys. What the fuck? What are you detoxing from? That was time? like uh, when I when I worked in in publishing and magazines. Uh, that was exactly how it went. Like that's it was bone broth for lunch. It was I can't, barely yeah. a piece of toast in the morning. Like when that, when people were saying that and so shocked about bone broth being like a meal replacement, I was like, oh, that's old news. Like we've been doing that since like 2015. Yeah. Like what are you talking about? Bone broth was so hot on the scene. It was basically just drinking broth of soup, and you didn't have to have the stuff inside. Like right. that's Crazy. what it was. Bitches love that shit. Fashion I'm a girls loved it. Broth girl. Yeah. I bone what? broth is kind of nice, but it is like it's I, salty. You know? I want I want shit like, in my like broth. Like I like bone broth. Yeah. I like I'm a bone not broth. Just one. eat bone broth. No, no, exactly. When I'm sick, I love a bone broth. Of course, but like I need shit or noodles or meat or something no, in I my agree. Bar- broth. I agree completely. To make it Do soup. you guys remember um, when Campbell's soup? I don't know if they still have them, but Campbell's soup had the soup to goes. Yeah, and love those things. Uh, and it was like the long thing, and you just heated up the soup and you, and you drink, drink it. Yeah, it's the fucking best. I love those things. I loved it so much, and it was pretty fucking gross. Like I like I was drinking yeah. carrots and, and, and celery. Like, yep. It was so good though. My uh, broccoli cheddar cheese soup was my fave. Mm, love was broccoli easy. cheddar. I love, I just love Panera Kimples. has the best broccoli cheddar. They really do. Ooh, in a Red, Red Bull. Bull. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yum. You know what else I like from Panera? The um, Mediterranean veggie sandwich, hmm. which I think is uh, not quite. A, doesn't get as much shine as it no, should. I don't know it's one. like sun dried tomato bread, which is unbelievable. Yum. It has like some kind of tomato paste on it. It's got feta cheese, onions, tomato, lettuce, and some kind of like something sweet, almost like cinnamon. I don't know what it is. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Next time you go, give Panera's it a try. Panera's like very good. I know. It is it's, very it's good. It's the Midwest yeah. me. I love People Panera. People talk shit about Panera all yeah, the time. Yeah, I know. I, I love Panera it. too. I'm Their green goddess dressing. Ooh. Their cinnamon crunch my bagel. Mom, yeah. My mom was on oh. a kick for a long time about the green goddess, like salad stuff, like all that. Like she was so obsessed. So good. And so, as, as is everyone. Lizzo's obsessed I, now. I like Panera. Don't they make, um, don't they make like a green goddess dressing now that you can buy? I think that they Trader do. Trader Joe's does. They do? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. From Panera, I would buy it. I think it's not directly from Panera, but I think it's like similar vibe, you know? Trader Joe's has a green goddess that I don't love as a salad dressing, but I love as a dip. Yes. Mm. Yes, that's what I've seen. I was like, because mm-hmm. I've seen it, but not the dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very mm-hmm. good, very good. Love it as a dip. Um. All right, let's 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 wrap it up with a little bit of uh, uh, Court, Court of Thorns, of Thorns and Roses. Roses. And for those who are uninterested, we will see you next week. For those who are, stick around. We're, again, talking about fairy porn. Yes. This is, we <laughs> have reached a new level of sex <laughs> when it comes to these fairies and yeah. i am i i'm about to buy wings like yeah. what's the deal like it's it's doing weird things for my, my Did brain you right see now. a publicity's tiktok yes she yes. was like it literally like You've inspired it. yeah she was like yeah, it yeah. inspired me to like go out on a date i was yes, like that's yes. hilarious <laughs> no literally like it is and it's something about the way that sarah what's her name sarah, sarah j Ma- moss sarah j moss yeah she i'll uh, about her writing she has good writing. She's sometimes repetitive. Yeah, oh my god, so repetitive and that does for certain me. like adjectives. Right, I'm and, like not even the adjectives. Like she'll, she's like, she'll she describe bared the scene. her teeth. Like yeah, what does yeah, that yeah. mean? I I don't really know. It always yeah. makes me think it's a growl. And I'm yeah, like, like I like don't growling know. At each other. Like this is weird. But so she will. She's repetitive in her descriptions, but also too in um, 
uh, like she'll describe a scene and then she'll like basically describe the scene again in different parts. And that, that drives me a little bit crazy. But I think if I were reading, reading the book versus listening to it, it wouldn't drive me as crazy. But um, the way that she describes these like sex scenes mm. is spot the fuck on mm. and I now need to, I now need to like look into her into her like books other like, stuff other stuff that she's written she does it, the, it has to be like smut you know what I've I mean? heard like, she's well, so good at she it. does the throne of glass series oh, which uh, are like a bunch of books Ellie Schnitt but those, me, told me to read those those are apparently a bit more like YA like they're not as like the, I think oh, this it, okay. series is like her more is more yeah like, sexy. I don't know because she has another series like newer series called like Crescent City the Crescent Moon or whatever yeah, Crescent, no, Crescent City, City right yeah, Ellie told, but, texted me both these things she's like you have to but I've heard that, that those that book's like really hard to get into. Let me see what she's But I don't know if she? it's the same on the same level as like smut. Where are you? Here she is. Um she goes. Um now I'm gonna force you to read Throne of Grass, Throne of Glass and Crescent City, and you should probably read From Blood and Ash. Those hmm. are the other two. And I said, once I'm done with this series, I would like want more. Didn't even think about like fantasy books being a thing like yeah. this. Yeah. I, I just it's crazy how I've never been I've never been brought to some kind of uh, whatever kind of literature this is. Like, is it like fantasy? Yeah. Fantasy, fantasy fiction, I guess. Fantasy, like, whatever. Yeah. I obviously read the Twilight series. Loved it. Obviously read. And that, I think, may be the closest to this in in his, in terms of, like, sexualness, but not even close still. Mm. I obviously read Hunger Games. I, like, all the things that are, like, being described as equal to this book, I've read and I've loved. Obviously, Harry Potter, like, the fantasy magic parts of it, whatever. This is an as another level. This mm. is a totally different different scene. I finished the first book. It did not. It sort of went how I thought it was going to go, mm. only because I knew that because there were so many more books, something was going to have to yeah. happen. Like this girl, this girl was going to turn into a fairy. Like that's right. the typical trope. Like you have uh, same with vampires. They always turn the girl into the vampire. Right. Like they always turn whoever it is into the immortal being that they are. And that yeah. is just a, a standard storyline. And I was excited for it. I was waiting for it. It did not happen in the way that I thought it was going to do. That girl, they snapped her neck. That girl died. Yeah. And then they brought her back to life. Yeah. And I didn't even think at the time. It's like of them. very like, it was, it gets it was really, really brutal at the like, end. It was yeah. so brutal. Yeah. And I, I did not expect it to be so brutal. And it did make me like uncomfortable in the way of, a, of hearing all of this abuse and whatever it's like people are that you know that happens to people in real life like mm. that's fucking horrible people get tortured and that, yeah. that, that comes from somewhere obviously they're not getting tortured like with magic but still it's crazy and it was really graphic and I was surprised to ha- be like feeling so much yeah. I was like I didn't realize I was so attached to this character like, yeah I just was like oh my god so when they bring her back to life that's all great didn't even suspect that she would have powers. I just thought mm. like, all right, she's gonna be a fairy and she's gonna be like the like like the rest of them. Maybe she'll have like baseline shit going on. When she goes to the night court mm. in the second book, and I'm not finished with the second book yet. Okay, I only just found out, and literally this morning, uh, that they were mates. That's what I just found out. And I am like was basically in tears crying. I was like, this is wonderful. I fucking knew it. Resand. I knew that my boy was going to come oh through. My like, God. I, there was a feeling about him that I was like, there is something going on. I know. And, and he is here for the long haul. I've never like read a book where you start off with like a main guy mm-hmm. and it, it ends up being a completely different guy. I don't you know, know if I, mean? I have either. I'm like, not sure either. There's always like you, like there's, there's like, there's like a tat. love triangle For situation, sure. like with Twilight, like yes. Jacob, Edward, blah, blah, blah. But like, you know, she's going to pick Edward. Of course. Like I felt like in the first book, like Tamlin no. was it, you know this what I mean? This was a total shift. Yeah. And it's right. a total especially shift. After, especially after all of the fighting for him. Like yeah. all the, the, the whole yeah. premise of the first book is was that her, she like, needs saving to prove him. that she's in love with Tamlin in order to save the fucking world. And she does because she was. And then the minute she gets back home to the spring court, he locks her up in the fucking house and yep. is a real creep about it. Yep. And during that vibes and uh, Aramantha, hmm. the, the crazy pre- queen, crazy queen. Yeah. The, High priestess or whatever the fuck? No, 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 no. Uh, Aramantha is the cr- is the. Cr- She's the one that's like running the whole show. Who's the crazy? The- Who's the one? The, the high priestess or whatever? Araminta? Yes. 
What's the fuck is her name? Ah, uh, no, that's forget. the girl from Crazy Rich Asians. She's the one that's like works time. with Tamlin. Yes. Yeah, I forgot her. her name. Whoever the fuck she is. Yeah. A, a something we hate her. Yeah. She's annoying. The minute that she started coming through and the way that um that Pharaoh was like talking about how she was so helpful to her, almost as if she was like guiding her right. and doing things for her and making decisions for her, I was like, okay, so they're just not gonna let this girl process any of this trauma, and they're just gonna make her go through the emo- go through the motions so they can put on a fucking wedding. This is insane. And when she stopped at the altar before going up to Tamlin and was like begging for help, I was like, this is the fucking moment that Resand is going to show up and he is going to take her away because he can feel through the yep. tattoo and that's what's happening. And he showed up. Yep. And the image that I have in my brain of him like fluttering down and like walking down the aisle. I know, and everyone's like, like, hello, Farrah darling. I was yeah, like, yes. yes. I was like, this is my man. Yeah, I know. I love him. I love and him. And I've loved him ever since. And I'm so glad and he was I like, love yeah, him like, forever. You were, like you want, like I could tell, no, like you yes. want wanted me to come get you 100 like, yeah. like no bitch i knew that you wanted yeah, to come get yeah. you. like i knew this all along and i just loved it and everything they do the night court like yeah. the the um what's it called it's like Val- Val- valeria valeria or whatever, it's wherever like, they yeah. are it's hard because like it all sounds like all the Thrones. words are so hard yeah. to remember and and we'll get there but you know once i read more books yeah. well, it'll be better and but, i yeah and i love how like you think he's a bad guy but he's actually right. really good and he's like the best guy yeah, like yeah, yeah. literally everyone yeah. he is the best and i like, love he's like the all of his that's friend, actually real. like their whole like squad right their whole squad the is squad. so good the, i love more i'm so i'm obsessed with her yeah she's amazing here's new bestie cassian cousin yeah cassian's great as is great yeah i'm so curious about their they had they're like in a throuple situation for sure that's my you'll guess. you'll figure out all the tea about them okay I'm, i don't want to ruin anything i know that no don't ruin it because wait I'll, I'll give my suspicion so far. okay yeah so first obviously i know that i know that more had sex with caspian to like yes free yeah. herself or whatever. yeah yeah like, because she was, was whole, about to marry she was about to be sold yep to the autumn a, court exactly prince who's an asshole who's an asshole yeah. lucian's brother yes and um and so there was all kinds of all kinds of drama with that. And she then got out of it. Sorry. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> See you later. I lost my I lost my thoughts because I was more. thinking too much about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, more, more, more. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So more uh gave up this like situation. She was a part of the the court of nightmares. Yes. And she's like having all this drama, whatever. They're trying to sell her off. She's like this desirable person. Her parents are a nightmare, literally. And so is the rest of the court. She does this like preventative thing and has sex with, mm. is his name Caspian? Or my Cassian. Name? Cassian. Yes. <laughs> my friend's writing something in her, something is named Caspian. Yeah. Um, so she has sex with Cassian and then that's, that's it moving forward. We don't really hear much about that. Mm. Just that they like, Oh, whatever. He did that for me. And that's basically it. Mm. She doesn't seem very into him, but they do have that like comfort level. I can tell like almost like, like friends who have fucked who like don't fuck anymore. That's the vibe I get. And then as, Asrian, Asriel, Asriel, I think Asriel yourself. Yeah. yeah. He is, it seems like an, almost an equivalent to Cassian, like in a different way. I picture them kind of looking the same. You know what I also picture them looking like, the two of them? Looking like those weird thugs that are in um, Tangled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the two big guys. Like I picture them looking like that. Yeah. Obviously better and like cooler and we like them. But and hotter. That's, and way hotter. But yeah. I just like weirdly picture them like kind of like that. And so um, I picture them like looking just like Ryzen, but like in their own different ways, kind of like in like gr- like more. Yeah, gruff. I feel like to me like Cassian has like long hair. I don't know he if could. Like, they yeah, even he describe could. that. Maybe he but... like tied his hair back at one point. Yeah, or yeah. I don't know. I might have just made that up. But... Yeah, who knows? But so so Asriel is in love with more. We've we've like deduced that. Feyre's deduced that. I'm wondering if. Asriel is Moore's mate and will like never tell her because he like can't mm. like open up or whatever. Like that's my that's my guess. Right. I don't know if I'm totally right, but I do think that he's in love with her and there will be some sort of like, you know, coming to fruition together or whatever the fuck it is. So we'll have to see. Yep. I like I said, I'm I'm almost finished with the second book. Hopefully I'll be um maybe halfway through the third. By next episode, we can chat. Or what do you think? Should we should we chat about them as we go, or should we wait until the end and do like a whole breakdown? There's so much that happens that I yeah. feel like we have to do it as we go because like let's do it as we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's and maybe we'll do a big breakdown of like the final book. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you yeah. have this one and then a court of this there's is a court five, of mist and fury and the, yeah. fury and, and I there's think one the next more one's like I forget what that one's called court of of claw and yeah no I don't even know court, court of, of thorns and roses. 
The next one is Wings and Ruin. Rings and Ruin. And Wings then there's, and Ruin, Frost and Starlight, yeah. and Silver Flames. Frost and Starlight is like a filler book. It's like literally 200 pages. Yeah, people say that. Yeah. People say that two and five are the best. I agree. Okay. Totally I'm excited Because this is an excellent, yeah. excellent book so far, and I'm loving it. So if you are into this like fantasy type shit we, like we keep talking about, I definitely suggest it. Um Give me any more suggestions that you have besides those ones that, that Ellie told me about because I will be reading those and add them mm. to the list. But yeah, I'm down for any of those suggestions. Uh, best of luck to... Oh, we didn't even talk about one more one more positive thing I wanted to talk about was um, Alice Cooper's engaged. Oh yeah, Call I know. Daddy. Da- Can- daddy gang rise up. Daddy. <laughs> She's engaged. The only reason I want to talk about it is because I thought that the... Um, congratulations to her. That's yeah. awesome. It's good to see good to see a, a, a girl for the streets getting yep. engaged. Yeah. Gives me hope. Um, but I think that the proposal was really cute. And so they cute. had um with the dogs. Was, yeah, with the dogs so looking cute. so cute. I'm always iffy about a dog's situation being involved because mm. dogs aren't predictable. I love <laughs> dogs, but dogs aren't predictable and this is a big moment. Same with weddings. I get mm. nervous when they walk down the aisle and stuff. I know. I'm like, I'm you like, that's what? a lot of trust in your dog. This is yeah. a lot of people, you know, whatever. Um, the dogs were cute. I thought it was really funny that he set up this whole like fake uh, whatever it's called, fake photo shoot for her. So she'd be in like hair and makeup and an outfit and nails and whatever and looking beautiful for the proposal. And she came home from it in sweatpants instead. And she got engaged in sweatpants. Yeah, it's so cute. Which it's like, classic. you know, not my vibe, but I know. for her, it's so her vibe. Yeah. Though. Like that's hilarious for her and it's really sweet. And they seem like, uh, seems like we're going to get a fairy tale wedding out of that. I hope I'll be following that closely. That'll oh, be, yeah. That'll be interesting. That feels close to home again because we I never feel like she like her. it won't. I don't know why, but I feel like she won't do something so extravagant. I wish that she would. You're I probably know. right though. She'll probably do like a quick little tiny like, thing. With yeah, her I feel like she's more a bit more chill. Yeah. But I don't know. Totally agree. But we're very interested in it, and uh, I think that's about it. A lot of things. Wow, yeah. had a lot of stuff to talk about today. So fabulous. We'll see you guys next week.